Hi guys, I am back with another Manny. So I have some uh, full coverage gel nail tips from Tay. This is a company off of Amazon. Um, these are square. Um, I do like their tips. Um, just, they're just easy, you know, they fit well on my nail. And so I'm, this is a dip powder Manny, an Easter themed dip powder Manny. So I'm using the color SC13 from SNS Natural Set Sheer. And uh, two colors from IGL Beauties, Ooh La La Line, Magic in the Air, which is a gold um, glitter. And then Soft and Timeless, which is kind of like a nude color. So we're going to go ahead and get into this dip powder application. I will be using my Odorless Dip Base from Color My World Dips, which is a shop on Etsy. And so we're just going to get into it. You want to stir your dip powder before you start to use it. This will break up any clumps and distribute the color evenly in the jar before you um, do your application. Because, you know, my dip powder sits in a drawer um, and it's been sitting there quite some time. You just want to give that a little zhuzh. And so I'm applying my first layer of dip base. And I'm just, um, don't go all the way to the cuticle area because I don't want these full coverage nail tips to become too bulky from the dip powder itself. And so I brush off excess lightly because low odor dip liquids do dry a little slower. But I've noticed when I do these on full coverage nail tips, they don't take quite as long to dry as if I was doing this on my natural nail. And so I'm going in with the second coat of dip powder and here I am actually going to um, go to the uh, apply the dip base to the full length of the nail brush off excess dip powder using my nail brush and I'm doing it lightly because again low order dip liquids um, do have a tendency to uh, dry slower you can see the nails not bulky with that second coat and then I'm going to go in and do a third coat of dip powder color and before I put the uh, ba base brush back into the bottle I uh, am wiping it off on a lint-free paper towel over to the left just to make sure that I don't contaminate contaminate <laughs> contaminate my dip base liquid with dip powder because it'll become all sticky and ooey gooey and it won't work well and so here's that first nail that's a very neutral very pretty color and I'm going to repeat that process with that very vibrant yellow and does have a little shimmer in there as well this is from SNS I don't think they sell it anymore this is before um I want to say I had this color for about two or three years now um and probably this is maybe my first time using it outside of swatching on a swatch stick so I'm going to repeat that with the SNS color and the IGL Beauty ooh la la gold glitter color as well so I'll be back gold glitter that gold that glitter got everywhere everywhere and so I'm just laying my finger flat this is a kind of like a fine glitter so I do um, apply the dip base and the first layer of dip powder to the entire nail because I end up doing two coats look at all, all that glitter that got under the nail and so it's all in the nail brush just glitter I've always said glitter is disrespectful because it gets everywhere but this is a nice gold glitter though really pretty and so I'm going in with the second coat um, and repeating that process and then I will encapsulate in clear dip powder to protect that glitter from turning colors during the fouling and buffing process. So 
so once I do that here are all the nails I thought they were nice and vibrant um, I did encapsulate the glitter nail in Azure Beauty's clear dip powder it's just because it's a big jar why not use it it's a good clear and so I'm going in with color my world dips activator this is not a low odor activator um, it's just a regular activator from their normal regular dip liquid line um, from their site and then um, or Etsy shop and so the activator will harden the dip powder in preparation for fouling and buffing when you're using dip powder and dip liquids you do need to activate them um, this is basically like the curing process without a gel lamp and so I'm just applying a generous amount to each nail and then I will do my fouling and buffing off camera. So here are the nails after fouling and buffing. I'm going in with some water slide decals from Spirit Art Designs. This is Christian Sunflowers. I'm going to use the cross that says God says you are. I think that says, oh, and it breaks it down. You are and then the little words it goes through things and then it has a little scripture and then it has a butterfly with a little scripture at the bottom as well and so i'm spraying i cut those out and i'm spraying them with water on the paper towel i'm going in with maniology sticky base coat and i'm going to apply that to the two um tan or nude nails allow that to get a little tacky probably about 30 to 45 seconds and then i'm going to use a nail i'm going to remove excess water from the decal let me back up I will then remove excess water with the other end of that paper towel, pick up a nail stamper, slide that uh, paper backing off, and just stamp that on the nail. And then I'm going to use a silicone tool to smooth out that decal as best as possible because you can use your finger but I have a tendency to rip my decals and so I was like either you can use this nail stamper you can use your hands but again water slide decals are very thin and they can rip easily the silicone tool works well um and I probably need to use that more often but I don't but I don't and so once I use that silicone tool to smooth those out to the best of my ability I'm going to go in with some gel base and top coat So it's a psycho me. I don't go in with the top coat just yet. I'm going in with Born Pretty 6-in-1 nail glue because y'all know I have to apply some rhinestones to my nails or something. It's just because I just don't like plain nails. I don't know if I've ever worn just a single color mani with just plain old. Well, I have a few times, a few times, but not often. I always got to have some extra stuff. Why not? So I have these champagne colored rhinestones. I think I got these off of Amazon quite some time ago. And I'm just doing a little side cuticle rhinestone action here. Real simple because let's be clear I can't do no designs like that I do have a nail stamping plate for rhinestone placement but that that's not needed here and so I'm going to uh, once I apply the rhinestones I'm going to cure uh, the six in one nail glue gel and my LED lamp for 60 seconds and I also apply rhinestones to um, the other nail I think that's the ring finger nail and I want to say I apply oh I apply rhinestones to the yellow nails as well because I like rhinestones why not and so once I do that um, again you do need to cure this in an LED lamp for 60 seconds So here are the nails after curing. I'm going in with Luxie Nail Hema Free No Wipe Top Gel Top Coat. This does require curing in an LED lamp for 60 seconds. And so I'm making sure I apply a good layer of that over the nail, making sure to cap, not crap, <laughs> cap the free edge of that full coverage nail tip now what i did notice with this particular set my ring finger i must have had too much gel on the nail because when i uh, pulled it out of the lamp from curing there was like a 
bulge on the side of the nail that wasn't there when I put them in the lamp. So I was like, oh no. But you, if that happens in the, um, to you, you can just easily file that down and just re-top coat. But I didn't because I was just like, okay, I want to get these nails on. I want to finish this video because I thought this set was nice and vibrant and cute. Now that's a good yellow to do with some bumblebee nails because I do have a bumblebee rhinestone and um like a gem and i do have a bumblebee uh nail stamping plate so that yellow is coming back because i like it but anyway i digress so yep i'm gonna get these top coated pop them in the lamp for 60 seconds and then i'm gonna put these bad boys on with some sticky tabs so coming up are the nails on um i like them but whatever my light made my hands look dusty like just dust buckety but whatever now y'all greased up and everything but anyway so guys here are the here's the finished look please like this video if you found value leave a comment let me know what you think and subscribe to my channel it is free 99 so i thought this was real cute thank you guys for watching and i will see you next time